Hello friends, Osiris here and the 7 star terror raid event for Don Dozo is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details of this event as well as the best build to solo this with in your game. <laughs> So the 7 star Don Dozer is running from today as of recording this video on the 26th of July and running through until the 8th of August. So we've got a bunch of time to take advantage of this event when it's running. The Don Dozer is going to be level 100 and for the first time ever for a 7 star terror raid, it will not have its hidden ability. It will have unaware. So don't go using any Pokemon that are going to boost their own stats because the Dondozo will just ignore those boosts. The moves that the Dondozo is going to have is going to be Wave Crash, Order Up, Earthquake, Avalanche, and the additional moves are going to be Yawn and Curse. The Mightiest Mark is going to be present. It can never be shiny, and it will have the Water Terror typing. It's going to have an Adamant Nature, no held item, and of course can only be caught once per save file. The big details here of the battle are you're going to see on 70% of its HP remaining or 70% of the timer remaining, the shield will activate on the Dondozo. At the same time as that, you're going to see the player's stats reset. But because we're kind of dealing with the unaware ability, we don't really need to worry about that too much. It's the Dondozo resetting its stat drops that we really need to pay attention to. So that will happen on 70% at the same time as the shield being activated. Now on 95% of the time remaining, it will use Yawn. So that two turn move where it can put you to sleep something to be aware of if you are kind of putting your own builds together in your game have to be aware of that you don't want to be put to sleep in this raid it will slow everything down and really halt your momentum then it's going to steal some of our terror orb charge as well throughout the raid that's going to be a 90 percent of the time remaining slowing down the process to be able to trash slice and then the other key markers are going to be at 50 percent of its hp remaining it will use one curse boosting its attack its defense by one stage and reducing its speed by one stage and then on 30% of its health remaining, it will fire out a wave crash. And that can be into any one of the four targets on your side of the field. On top of that, we're going to get good item drops with this one. Water Terror Shards, Lords XL Candies. You're going to get the HP ups as well. Uh, TM and Ability Patches. And on top of that, we do see a return once again of all five Herbomysticas being potentially things that can drop from this raid over the weekend making it a good one in my opinion to go after and farm for Herba Mysticas and maybe even a little bit quicker than the Pikachu raid was unbelievably so with one of the builds that we do have but like I say running from the 26th of July until the 8th of August and as a quick reminder alongside the seven star terror raid for Don Dozo over this next two week period from the 26th of July up until the 8th of August also going to see a brand new outbreak come to Scarlet and Violet. In Paldea, you're going to exclusively see outbreaks for the Curly Form Tatsugiri in Kirikami. You're going to see the Droopy Form. And in the Blueberry Academy, you're going to see this Stretchy Form Tatsugiri. Big shout out to Kingly Majesty over on Twitter for this beautiful graphic that allows you to easily see which form of Tatsugiri is appearing in which area of the games and what those shinies are looking like. Of course, all of these mass outbreak events for the Tatsugiri in whatever respective area you're hunting them will have the boosted shiny odds like the Pikachu event that we've just seen finish. So good luck to you all if you are going out shiny hunting in these outbreak events. Let me know which one, if there is any at all, that you'll be hunting for while this event is running. So to access this event in your game, you're going to need to make sure you are connected to the internet, then come to your Poker Portal and come down to mystery gifts and then into check pokeball news this will update your game with the servers and update all of your dens and mass outbreak events on your map so when you do come into your map you'll have the tatsugiri raids appearing on your map and you'll also in paldea be able to find the seven star terror raid event which will look like this once you've located it just head over to it and we can get on with the raid so the builds that we're going to feature in today's video are going to be two we're going to have a faster build and then we're going to have a bit of a slower more consistent build the faster build as you can imagine will be mariadon it is going to have the electric terror typing it is going to be level 100 and set to 31 ivs so make sure you do hyper train it as I say, with the Life Orb as a held item, the moveset is going to be Metal Sound, Charge, Parabolic Charge, and Electro Drift with the ability Hidden Engine. And the EV spread is going to be 
252 EVs in special attack, 252 EVs in defense, and the remaining EVs in HP. So essentially, you're going to be using 25 calcium vitamins with four genius feathers, 25 iron vitamins and four resist feathers. And then the remaining EVs are just going to be made up with one HP up. So just to make it easier for those of you that don't know much about EVing, but that's essentially the EV spread for the Mariodon. The next Pokemon is, like I say, a little bit slow, but very consistent, going to have no trouble dealing with this Dondozo when you go into it. It is going to be belly bolt, very similar to the one that we've previewed in our video earlier in the week electric terror typing expert belt as a held item level 100 and hyper trained of course as well just making sure that all those ivs are set to 31 the move set is going to be electric terrain going to have acid spray chilling water and parabolic charge with the ability electromorphosis make sure that ability is set to that the ev spread is exactly the same as the mariadon with the 252 evs in special attack 252 evs in defense and the remainder in HP with a modest nature. Just follow the recipe that I told you for the vitamins for the Mariodon, and you'll be fine if you are making the Belly Bolt in game. Now we'll jump into the raid and I'll show you how quick it can be with the Mariodon in the first place. Starting off with the Mariodon, when you come into the raid against the seven star Dondozo, there is gonna be no turn zero like we've seen with the previous seven star terror raids. The one thing that I would say that would be a massive benefit with the Mariodon into allowing this strategy to work is having a Pokemon with Intimidate on your team that can be Arcanine Star Raptor. Like you can see here, we've got the Taurus. That's just gonna make that Dondozo hit for way less damage. Now turn one, we are going to lock in with a metal sound. This is going to reduce the special defense on the Dondozo by two stages every time we use it, making sure that our special attacking moves are going to hit a lot harder. Now the Dondozo will probably throw out an earthquake, but because of that intimidate support that we do have, makes it way less likely. Turn two, you're going to see a yawn fired off, but because of the electric terrain, it's not going to affect us, not going to put us to a sleep, and we fire off another metal sound. So again, putting that special defense down two stages further down to minus four now we want to do one more metal sound that's down to minus six so maxing out or leveling out bottoming out that special defense stat on the dondozo to minus six at this stage take another earthquake for our trouble but that cycling in of the intimidate from the taurus or whatever intimidate you have is really really key here next turn we're going to see it steal some of our terror orb charge we're going to go for a charge ourselves that's going to boost our electric type attacks even further. And then the next turn, we are all set up now. We are just going to lock in with an Electro Drift. We'll be able to take this additional Earthquake coming out from the Dondozo. And this will be enough to pick up a one hit KO against the Dondozo. Now it is very much subjective to the fact that you have an Intimidator on your side of the field to lower the attack of the Dondozo to allow the Mariah on the hits to be able to get set up the metal sound can miss so it is very rng dependent but if you want a very quick way to run through this raid Mariodon is definitely going to be one of those options i would suggest going into the raid this weekend with because it is going to be able to run through it quicker than probably most other pokemon whereas things like the belly bolt that we'll go to next are going to be a lot slower although a lot more consistent and not reliant on any rng so once you've got your Dondozo, you're going to get a flurry of rewards as well. Do let me know down in the comment section what ball you caught your Dondozo in if you've done the raid this weekend when it is running. So again, like we've outlined with the Mariodon build, when you come into the raid for the first time, there will be no turn zero from the Dondozo. So we're just going to go straight into it. Again, if you do have an Intimidate supporter on your side of the field, it is going to massively help out and save you a few turns further down the line with this belly bolt so turn one we're going to lock in with electric terrain that's just going to set this on the field the only drawback about the electric terrain here is if you have an arbor on your team this can overwrite the electric terrain and make things a little bit more tricky for you because then you'll be subjected to that yawn so something maybe just to come out of the raid come back into it so you haven't got that arbor supporting pokemon in this situation so we get the wave crash we see the yawn come out it's not going to affect us turn two we're going to lock in with a chilling water at this stage we're just going to want to chase down our terrestrialization with the belly bolt because we want to be able to do as much damage as possible 
the chilling water is going to reduce the attack stat on the Dondozo, so it's going to make it less powerful. We probably only need to go for one here because we do have the Arcanine kind of cycling in and out with that Intimidate as well. This is what I mean. It's going to save you turns here going for those chilling waters where otherwise if you haven't got an Intimidate user on your side of the field, then you're going to probably have to concentrate a little bit more go after those chilling waters a few more turns. But turn three, we'll lock in with the Acid Spray and just gauge your health as well as you're doing this initial setup if you're getting low health at any point go for a parabolic charge you've got the electric train on the field as well you're going to be able to do some nice damage and heal yourself up but we're not in any danger at the moment of getting knocked out so we'll just lock in with another acid spray like i say if you haven't got an intimidate pokemon on your side of the field here you're probably going to be locking in to the chilling water rather than the acid spray at this point and then going for the parabolic charge to kind of heal up I have done this with the belly ball without an intimidate user it's not a strategy that's reliant on an intimidate user but you do have to just change up your moves slightly as you're going through we are a bit low health at this point so we want to just lock in with a parabolic charge see we do some nice respectable damage now the big turn that we're looking for is when the dondozo hits 70 percent of its health that's when it's going to set up its shield and it will nullify any stat drops on its side of the field so after that point we're gonna have to make a point of going for another chilling water making sure that we're keeping it in check keeping that attack as low as possible because there is a stage of 50 percent of the ray time or its health it will set up a curse to boost that attack stat so we just need to keep it in check you can see here 70 percent of its health or less it's going to remove the stat drops on its side of the field so now we can terrestrialize but what we're going to do is just terrestrialize and go for a chilling water here because we want to get that minus one attack onto the dondozo as soon as possible so to kind of negate that curse now normally without an intimidate user in this situation i would preferably go for two chilling waters here so back to back chilling waters keeping an eye on our health as well if we need to we can parabolic charge just to get some health back but if you don't need to then you can kind of just continue without that parabolic charge until you've got those acid sprays off once it has removed the stat drops on its side of the field once it's never going to do that again throughout the raid and you can see here the wave Crash is doing a lot more damage here so we're probably better off in this situation going for another chilling water here just to make sure that Dondozo is going to be kept in check for the rest of this raid so this will take it down to minus two and then any additional drops that that Arcanine does drop onto the field at this stage is just going to be a bonus so you can see here the wave crash going to come out we'll be able to take this and we'll activate our Electromorphosis ability as well but we're in the stage now where we can probably drop parabolic charge get our health back get some nice damage onto the field and then we can concentrate a little bit more on going for those acid sprays because we want to get the dondozo special defense down to minus three and then we're in that safe place where we've got that clean run to the rest of the raid where we'll be able to just close things up with parabolic charge just keeping an eye on our health of course and keeping that dondozo in check is the main thing throughout this raid because the chilling water is such a good essential move that you really need to be able to make sure that you can take those attacks and if we have a look at the Dondoza stats at this stage, it's minus three, but we've got three acid sprays we need to really get off at this stage. So that's what we're going to concentrate on. It is at 50% of its health, we're going to go for a curse. So it's going to go back up to minus two at that stage. So hitting a little bit harder. While you're going for these acid sprays though, just keep an eye on your health. Like I've said throughout the raid, you don't want to get knocked out after you've been terrestrialized because that means you're pretty much going to lose the raid at that point, especially with the timer being so sensitive in this raid. But you want to just try and get those acid sprays off as soon as possible. But weaving in the odd chilling water here and there, the parabolic charge just to keep yourself healthy. There's nothing wrong with that throughout the raid. It is just a bit slow with the belly bolt. And even slower if you don't have an intimidate supporting Pokemon on your side of the field. If you've got two intimidate supporters on your side of the field, even better because it probably will save you a lot more time in the long run. And we'll get this third and final acid spray off and that'll take the dondozo special defense down to minus six making sure that those parabolic charges are going to hit as hard as possible now take a wave crash for our troubles here and we'll be able to take that pretty comfortably thanks to those chilling water drops and the arcanine dropping those intimidates and now we're in a position where we can just fire off those polypar parabolic charges i'm going to see a curse come out so it is going to kind of give itself an attack boost but at this stage it doesn't really matter in this raid as you can see now, we're just going to lock in with this parabolic charge. And if you want further damage as well at this stage, if you've got room to do it, you could always set up an electric terrain as well. It is going to make 
the damage output even more so this next turn what we could do is rather than breaking the shield set up an electric terrain and then go for a parabolic charge but if you like me you just want to go for attacks parabolic charge is going to be fine but between the belly bolt and the maraidon honestly i think they're probably the two best options belly bolt available to everyone in the base games maraidon if you're a violet player you'll have access to that pokemon and if you've played scarlet and violet long enough even if you're a scarlet player you've probably got a maraidon in your game anyway that you'll be able to use but it just depends on what you prefer to go through this weekend with the raid obviously because do you want the more consistent a little bit slower belly bolt strategy or do you want the kind of a little bit more rng reliant but very quick maraidon battle so there we go you can see the shield is broke and one more parabolic charge after this will be enough to take down the dondozo but you can see the shield is in a very low position here so it's not in it's not the quickest way to run through the raid but i will say belly bolt very consistent and the only thing that i think that you really have to worry about in this raid is getting a very unlucky kind of 23 chance out of 24 critical hit happening with the wave crash because if that happens you probably get knocked out and if you're terrestrialized at this stage then that will be kind of game over for you but otherwise you're going to have an easy time with the belly bolt especially if you just follow some of the directions that i've talked about when we've been doing this raid with this pokemon easy as that and then you can reap the rewards as usual we're going to get herba mystica drops from this raid so it's going to be a really good one to take advantage of this weekend and up until the 8th of august when it is running we get two sweet herba mystica for our trouble there um, and the Herba Mystica drops have been very, very good so far when I've been running through and testing these Pokemon out. Of course, you're only going to get one seven star raid appearing in Paldea at one time when you have beat the raid. If you are wanting to farm this Dondoza over the weekend when the event is running, what you can do is just come onto your map and you just need to go to your home menu, then down into system settings, down into system and then down into date and time done change anything make sure you synchronize clock where the internet is off just toggle through these options hit home into the game and it'll respawn all of your dens and you'll be able to locate seven star terror raid again head over to it and then repeat exactly what we've just done if you found today's video useful please drop a like it does really help out the video share it around in the community and make it easier for other people doing the seven star dondozo to beat it solo in game of course as well goes without saying if you've got your own builds that you've been having success with against this seven star dondozo leave them in the comment section below i love to read through them and of course they will also help out the community to have an easier time against the seven star dondozo thank you so much for tuning in friends if you're going after the outbreaks for the tatsugiri good luck with the shiny hunting and of course if we have any faster builds that come up between now and the event ending we'll update you with that on the channel so if you don't want to miss that as well as any other of our pokemon scarlet and violet content that we have on the channel make sure you do hit that subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss that when it goes live Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the event while it's running over this two-week period. And until next time, take care and bye-bye.